friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode on case study based questions we are going to discuss still one more question this is part 23 and previously we have uploaded 22 parts and the links of all these 22 parts are provided in the description box in the pdf format download the pdf and watch all the 22 parts so that you will get an idea that which type of questions will be asked as the case study based questions and how to deal with such questions also friends download the study material from the description box now friends move to the question friends here is the question amrita makes biscuits the amount of mixture required to make one biscuit is 18 cubic centimeter it means the volume of the biscuit before baking it is 18 cubic centimeter before it is cooked the mixture is rolled into a sphere after the biscuit is cooked the biscuit becomes a cylinder of radius 3 cm and height 0.7 cm the increase in the biscuit well volume is due to air trapped in the biscuit friends before cooking the volume is 18 cubic cm and after cooking the biscuit or after baking the volume of the biscuit gets increased because of the volume that increases due to the air trapped in the biscuit the cross section area of box is a regular hexagon containing seven biscuits in this box it has a hexagon shape and there are seven biscuits are placed arranged in the diagram 1 three biscuits are shown in the diagram 2 out of this seven these three biscuits are shown in the diagram number 2 this is the diagram number 2 O is the center of the hexagon O is the center of the hexagon and the middle of the middle biscuit this O is the center of the hexagon as well as the center of the middle biscuit B is the point where two biscuits touch B is the point where the two biscuits touch so this is the point where this two biscuits touch and this point is B so this point is b uh, and a and c are the centers of these circles a and c are the centers of these two circles where these two circles touch at the point b e is the midpoint of df of the box e is the midpoint of the side of df of this hexagonal box and with this information you have to answer the questions so see the first question which is on the screen the volume of the biscuit cooked after it is cooked is 17.8 cubic centimeter 18.7 cubic centimeter 19.8 cubic centimeter or 21.2 cubic centimeter friends first pause the video try yourself first solve it and then start the video and check whether your answer is correct or not the volume of the biscuit after it is cooked friends it is given that the volume of the biscuit after it is cooked is increased and the radius of that biscuit is given as 3 cm and the height of the biscuit is given as 0.7 cm and therefore we can find the volume of the biscuit after it is cooked that is pi r square h so pi is 22 by 7 into r square r is what it is 3 so it will be 3 into 3 multiplied by h is 0.7 so 7 1 the 7 7 1 the 7 so it will be 0.1 and if you multiply this this will be 3 3 the 9 9 2 the 18 9 2 the 18 and 1 19 and so it will be 19.8 19.8 cubic centimeter and therefore the c option is the correct option now the next question is that volume of air trapped 
while cooking the biscuit is again here pause the video try yourself solve and check the answer so volume of air trapped while cooking the biscuit so how you will find the volume of air trapped volume of air trapped that is equal to volume of the biscuit after it is baked correct minus volume of the biscuit before it is baked that increase in the volume of the biscuit that will give the volume of the air that is trapped in the biscuit so which is equal to volume of the air trapped after baking it and that is what it is 19.8 that we have calculated in the previous question minus volume of the air sorry minus volume of the biscuit before baking that is given to us in the question and that is 18 cubic centimeter and so this will be 19 point whether it is 19.8 yes 19.8 minus 18 and that will be 1.8 cubic centimeter and the volume of the air trapped in the biscuit that is 1.8 cubic centimeter and therefore the C option is the correct option. Now let us move to the next question. The length of OB. Friends here we have to find the length of OB. B is here. This is B. This point is B and we have to find the length of OB. How will you find the length of OB? Find this yourself first pause the video now it's simple this is a right angle triangle because this angle is 90 degree so here this OBA is a right angle triangle so here we can apply the Pythagoras theorem this is the radius of the biscuit this is what 3 centimeter this is also the radius of the biscuit so it will be 3 centimeter and therefore this total distance OA will be 6 centimeter and this distance this is the radius of this biscuit and this will be 3 centimeter so this is 6 centimeter this is 3 centimeter and you have to find OB so in triangle OAB we will apply the Pythagoras theorem so it will be OA square which is equal to OB square minus AB square plus AB square this is plus AB square we have to find OB square so we will take AB square to other side so it will be OB square which is equal to OA square minus AB square so which is equal to OA square that is 3 and 3 6 so 6 square will be 36 minus AB square that will be 3 square will be 9 and therefore 36 minus 9 will be equal to 27 and therefore OB is equal to square root of 27 and therefore square root of 27 is 5.19 and that is equal to 5.2 centimeter approximately and so the correct option is the B option 5.2 centimeter and therefore here OB distance is 5.2 centimeter. Now let us check the another question. Length of OE is, we have to find the length of OE, this total length we have to find, this is B. We know that this OB we know, just we have calculated in the previous question. And now here <coughs> we know that OB OB we have calculated as 5.2 centimeter OB that is equal to 5.2 centimeter that we have calculated in the third question and here BE what will be BE? BE is nothing but it is radius of the circle because this will be the radius of the circle this will be the radius of the circle this is the radius of the circle this adjacent sides are equal therefore all these four sides will be equal and this will be a square and so this will be equal to the radius of the circle so this is 3 centimeter and therefore BE that is equal to 3 centimeter and what is OE? OE is equal to OB plus BE OE that is equal to OB plus BE and so which is equal to 5.2 plus 3 
that is equal to 8.2 centimeter and therefore the B option is the correct option. Now friends move to the last question, fifth question. Using the concept of similarity of triangles, we find the length of the side of the box as we have to find the length of the side of the box that is we have to find the distance df. Friends, this question you have to do and you have to give the answer through the comment box. Here I can give you the hint that you will have to do the construction and then you will have to apply the concept of similarity of triangles. Think how you will do the construction and then how you will find the length DE. First you will have to find the length DE. That hint also I am giving you. And then you will find the length EF will be same because E is the midpoint. And double of that will be the length of the DF. Or you can first find the length of EF. Then double of EF that will be the total length DF. So you can find this way. So try yourself and give your answer through the comment box. Now friends, I hope you must have enjoyed this video. If yes, please like the video, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.